Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. In the last couple of weeks here at Mustard Seed, we had to scratch our own itch, as those in the Drupal community might say. Uh, over the years, we've gotten sort of tired of trying to shoehorn a bunch of uh, existing stuff together, existing modules together, to try and create an event registration system that does what we want it to do, which is primarily to be easy for people who uh, might be creating events on a site who are not really Drupal people and also who might be creating many events uh, per year on a site, dozens, hundreds, whatever that happens to be, uh, in a way that's really nicely scalable and manageable. Uh, a lot of the current uh, ways to do this aren't as simple to use or uh, don't really scale to doing many, many events on a site. Uh, so what we've done is we've created uh, the Ubercart event registration module, which is really just a feature uh, with a little bit of custom code that ties together Webform module and Ubercart into a solution to take simple event registrations. We'd like it to grow in the future, but as of now, uh, it makes making simple event registrations very simple. Let's look at that today, uh, and we'll sort of go over what it does and how it does it. Here's the Ubercart event registration page over on Drupal.org. Uh, read this whole thing. One of the main things it points out is requirements for the uh, module to work, uh, which are Webform module, Ubercart 2, uh, and specifically at least version uh, 6, 3.6 of Webform module. So make sure you have at least that or it will not work. Uh, there's all. It also requires features and a couple of other uh, items. Uh, there's also some information here on why other modules that we've tried don't really work out uh, to achieve the solution that we wanted. Uh, Drupal 7, uh, we have no plans to develop for Drupal 7 right now, but when we do, it will most likely be the commerce module, not Ubercart. Uh, so let's dive in and see how this thing works. Once you install it on your site, you're going to see really two uh, different modules that you can enable. Under Features, you're going to see Ubercart Event Registration Feature, and then under uh, Ubercart Extra, you're going to see Ubercart Event Registration. This one under Ubercart Extra is really what you want here. Um, this will automatically enable the feature and enable any additional modules uh, that you need at the same time. Now, one thing that this does not enable is a payment solution. Before you can use Ubercart, you obviously have to set up payment as well. So I'm going to go ahead and enable a test gateway and the credit card uh, just to be able to uh, make all of that stuff work. Now you're going to notice that when you install this, it's going to do a bunch of stuff, including uh, enabling all these modules and the uh, event, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, there's the feature in here somewhere, Ubercard event registration feature. Uh, and so when we do that, it's going to install all this stuff. One of the main things that it's doing when it's installing it is it's actually creating an Ubercart uh, class, which is really just a content type that can take Ubercart data. Uh, features can't really do this by default right now, so that's why we have to do it in the code. You're going to see product class saved when you install it. Uh, that means that we created a product class, which is uh, a product in Ubercart and a content type, and you're going to see that when you go to create content, paid event. Uh, that is our new thing that we just created there, uh, and we'll look at that in a second. One of the other things you want to look at is web form settings. What it also did is it enabled that new uh, type of content as a type of content that can have a web form attached to it. That's what we're going to use for registration. This is the part that doesn't work with anything before web form 3.6. So before we go any further, I need to set up uh, my uh, payment settings. So when we go to checkout, it actually works. And really all I have to do in my case is uh, set up my encryption directory. And once I do that, um, my payment will work. Uh, you obviously will have much more extensive setup than that. Uh, this is all just Ubercart stuff. Uh, one of the main things to know is that there really aren't any configuration screens at all on this. Uh, this is relying very heavily um, on Ubercart and on Webform. So anytime you set anything up, uh, it's going to be through Ubercart or Webform or CCK. Uh, one of the main, uh, first questions that we got in our issue queue was uh, when I go to create content for a paid event, there's no date. Well, it's up to you to add the date or any other fields that you want as well. All we're doing is we're tying together a couple of things, trying to keep it to a bare minimum so you can customize it through the normal means how you normally would. So you can go ahead and you can, um, under content types, you know, you can uh, manage fields and you could add a date field, you could add an image field, you can add whatever you want to this. Uh, we're just setting up the core basics uh, so it works. So I'm going to create a test event. And uh, I need to put in a SKU 
because this is a Ubercart product. And let's say it's going to cost $10. Uh, by default, you can fill out anything else you want here as well. Um, the only thing that's not really going to happen uh, is going to work by default is this add to cart stuff because we're overriding that in the feature. I'll show you where to do quantities in a minute. Uh, products are not shippable. Uh, and so let's save that. Now, one of the things you're going to notice right away is this quantity field. Where did that come from? Well, if we go over, we'll see that this is a web form enabled content. And there's two fields that we automatically put on this uh, with our module. Quantity and payment status. Payment status is simply a paid or unpaid uh, status. Quantity is how many they're ordering. So uh, payment status uh, is hidden from the user. If we look back at this, you'll notice there is no payment status. That's because we don't want people to change it, obviously. Uh, quantity is shown to them. Now you can go ahead in this web form and you can add any other fields that you want. Uh, again, all we're doing is tying together these two. So if you want to add, uh, collect people's names, how many are attending, phone numbers, whatever else you want to do, that's up to you. Again, we've only put the bare minimum in here. So then you can take it and do what you want with it. Uh, one of the features we want to do in the future is to allow these fields to change attributes in uh, Ubercart. So for example, if you added a t-shirt um, selection, you know, you could have someone register for conference and say whether they want a t-shirt or not, that could increase the price uh, automatically through Drupal uh, through Ubercart attributes. Right now, it doesn't do any of that. Very simple event registration system right now. So you can go ahead and add whatever fields you want. I'm going to go back and look at this, and we're going to, again, just do the bare minimum here. Let's add a quantity of two to the cart. And you can see that uh, that was added. Uh, the test event was added, and we could check out right here. Let's go back, though, and let's say that this was a different event. We can do multiple events at the same time, uh, and I want to order five more or something like that. Now, uh, real quick side note here, you're going to say well, you've already submitted this form for your previous submissions. This is because as an administrator, I have uh, the ability to edit my own submissions. That needs to be off. Uh, you need to go into permissions and turn that off uh, for any users that are registering for events. If they're allowed to edit their own submissions, they can go back after they paid, change the quantity to something greater than they actually paid for, and you wouldn't know the difference. So make sure that they are not allowed to edit their submissions uh, in the permissions of this uh, of the web form module. So that being said, um, I'm going to submit five more and you'll see that just gets added to the cart. Uh, now through the magic of video, I'm going to fill out this form, but you are not going to see it because I don't want to give away all of my personal information to you, even though, yes, I do like you, uh, but I don't want you stealing my credit card number. So I'm going to review after I go to checkout and um, I can say, yes, this is all Ubercart stuff. This has nothing to do with our module at this point. I'm going to submit this order. And when I'm done, uh, the module includes a uh, conditional action. This is like triggers and actions, but it's Ubercart specific. Uh, and so if we go into conditional actions, we can see uh, mark event registrations as paid as an action that uh, a conditional action that the module uh, has and is enabled by default. And what this does is it goes back to the web form based on the submission ID and changes that field from unpaid to paid. Uh, so now if we go back and we look at the results uh, of this web form, we can see that we have two submissions and they are both marked paid. If, for example, someone uh, filled out the web form and they got to the, the checkout and they abandoned checkout, they didn't actually pay, this will remain unpaid. Uh, so you can look at your results when you download them into a CSV or however you do your reporting and uh, look at who paid and who did not. You might want to contact the people that didn't pay and say, hey, you realize you didn't pay for this or uh, find out what's going on or encourage them to finish checkout or whatever it is. Uh, but that gives you that payment status. Uh, so that's the module. Hopefully it works uh, for you. I would like to see some additional features such as the attributes and stuff in the future. If you have feature requests, please file them over in the issue queue or if you have problems, uh, go ahead and do that as well. Uh, as always, go to mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast, add your comments, add your questions. Uh, you can visit us on Facebook or Twitter. Those uh, options are in the top right corner of the site. And of course, we always appreciate your chip-ins. Uh, you can see the chip-in button and uh, toss a couple dollars at the podcast to keep us encouraged to keep doing it. Uh, show your appreciation. That would be wonderful. Uh, that is all for now. Hopefully you can try out uh, Ubercart event registration and it works for you. And we'll see you next time on the Mustard Seed Media video podcast.